Good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I'm Mars, and I'm not on my usual server today. Apparently I'm Riff Raff as well. In front of me we've got a gentleman who's going to show me around today. And introduce us all to... Welcome to Strangelands. Yay! I'm not sure what else Please. to say other than that. <laughs> That's it. Please come this way, sir. Hear that, everybody? I may be Riff Raff, but I got called Sir. Sir. Indeed. Everyone is Sir on the server. Excellent, excellent. I can get used to this. And we have this um, nonsensical building going on here. Actually, I've hay bales for the roof? That's a very nice touch, actually. I oh, like that. I do. Detail. It's all in the detail. And have you got... played Morrowind? No. This is Sidanin. This is the city that you started in, in Morrowind. There's a couple of people that watch my videos that maybe know what you're on about there. Might go, Mod, Mod, play that, play that. I'd be like, no. Fantastic game. Yeah. I'm sure it is. It's just I like to wind people up with it. I do. It's, just, it's like a, a little in joke, you know, between me and the fans. Don't play Skyrim, Morrowind, any of the Elder Scrolls games because it's just a wind up for them all. <laughs> anyway. You have to give in eventually, right? Or no? I can't possibly commit to that one way or the other. <laughs> this is our sign in sheet. You register your name in the book here. Okay. Please don't actually sign the book, but just put your name in it. Uh, there we go. Oh, who else do we have here? Fixer TV, that's you. OG Nerd, Blitzkrieg, uh, Dr. Brian Logan. Logan 111! Sorry, I'm Perfect. very, very, very fanboyish about him. Uh, Pop it, Jen, Wonderbot, Mittens, and me. Okay, click on done and back in the chest that goes. Awesome. And there you go. I just implanted a GPS on you, I think. That, where did you put that? I mean, you know, there's quite a few crevices on my robotic body here, but where, where, did, where did that go? Uh, that's, that's none of your concern, quite frankly. I'm now slightly worried. Only slightly. All right, so welcome to Strangelands. This is Spawn. It's very nice, very pretty. This is the Riffraff office. For the general public welfare. Ah. Indeed. This is uh, community storage. If you need anything, you can pick it up from here. If you have extras or anything, you can drop it off here. This is just to help out people new to the server. Ah, I'll take a stack of, a stack of cobblestone straight away then. There Never you can never have too much cobblestone. Attention to Riffraff, this office supports public welfare. Help yourself, yeah, yeah, just like you say. Ooh, foodstuffs. <gasps> Bacon! I'll take some of that. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just realising I'm running a texture pack there. Cooked pork chops are actually bacon. <laughs> that, that's, that's not something that uh, I can condemn. I'm sorry, you cannot have enough bacon. It's like an unwritten rule. I guess that's okay. So, uh, this is Spawn. We're, we're going with these um, beaten paths, I suppose. Oh, wow. Just... I know there's a lot of empty space here, but at the same time in the distance. Oh, floating islands! Oh, I like this. It's got potential. Indeed it does. We've been on the server for um, five days, I think, so uh, still new. This is kind of our town center. I like that. I'm very drawn to that building over there. Is that yellow clay? That is yellow clay. That is my house. That's, what, almost Bauhaus-esque? It's very postmodern. Yes. The at me sounded like I'm in all into architecture. <laughs> <laughs> I am not, but uh, I just wanted something a little uh, modern, I suppose. I like that. Sorry, you're saying about the town centre. I'm completely interrupting your tour, man. I'm sorry. I'm completely balls <laughs> this up for you. Quite all right. Quite all right. All right. Blitz Krieg, uh, Kriegsler built this. It's kind of um, a compass if you can get back far enough and take a look at it. A compass on a map. Uh, okay. It is pointing uh, north. So the idea of spawn is, the spawn is kind of like the whole plains biome. And build wherever you want, um, small builds, large builds, whatever you please. Okie dokie. You can have a temporary or mini base at spawn, but we prefer your main base to be 400 blocks out or more. Oh, I get to live in isolation. Goody. 
Yep. Keep everybody a little spread out so they can build nice big bases or do what they want. But again, you can have a home at spawn um, like I have over there. Uh, is that a public farm over there? It is indeed. As so long as I replan what I take, right? Right. That's cool. That's cool. Very cool. So you can open up stores, build whatever you want. Uh, I think someone's putting up a flower shop. Um, I don't think we have any commitments otherwise. No one's committing to a horse stable or anything like that. That's fine. I've got one question for you that springs to mind all of a sudden. One that I'm sure my regular fans will be very keen I ask. What's the policy on pranking? Pranking is encouraged. Um, <gasps> oh, goody, goody, goody. Yes, have good times. We've had one small prank so far. Um, OG Nerd has had his house filled with little piggies. <laughs> So it's it's been tame. Uh, it is still quite young, though. Oh, goody. I think we're going to have fun here. <laughs> as long as it's not destructive, then pranking is encouraged. I assume also you'd like me to claim that I did the prank with a sign. You know what? We should probably do that. Otherwise, it could be considered griefing if you don't know. who We had that problem a few months ago with um, my own server. And we basically, I got fed up of it to the point where I used my powers, went into creative, and spammed chickens everywhere just to make a point to people. Claim your pranks! Claim your bloody pranks, you weirdos! It worked in the end. That's a good idea. I think we'll uh, we'll have to do that. Anyway, shall we continue with letter? Right, right. This is the um, public farm. Um, do you need? Except for this over here, this is Brian um, Lorgan One One One's base without walls. Oh, I just stomped on his melons. Oh, shame on you. We won't tell him. Nah, I won't. <laughs> we have an help? out. We have an outrageous amount of animals over here. Uh, again, community animals. Uh, we have guys that enjoy breeding for the experience, but they don't want to kill them afterwards. Uh, I can help out with the killing of the animals if you want, if you really, really want. I'm always in the need for bacon. It, it sounds like a business opportunity. Ooh, business. Is there a form of currency on this server, or is it just trading? Commodities, it's just commodities. trading. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, no currency, but um, but trading is definitely encouraged, and, and we want uh, people open up shops, shops, sell whatever they want. That's nice. This is this, mis sorry. Go on. This is Blitzkrieg's Blitzkrieg's ah. lure. I was about uh, to just ask, was this Br uh, Brian's? Because it's uh, in such close proximity to the farm over there. No, Brian does not have a house yet. He's just he's just that chest in the melon farm. <laughs> he's a chest. That's it. He's working on a witch farm uh, about a thousand blocks to the north. Blimey. Oh, there's actually something on that floating island up there. And there's something in the hills over Oh, wow. I know I'm trying to say it. It's just like I'm lost for words. This is great. This is only the beginning. It's the beginning. And, and, you know, you have a lot more fun when you can get in on the beginning. Oh, God, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Here, this is this is basically it. We don't really have much more than this. So you're you're fresh. I'm so fresh. I smell the green on me. This is my house I share with kittens. Dare kittens. I ask what's in here? That is my mailbox. Oh, okay. I'm not too sure about it, though. We might have some kind of mail system going later on. Could be interesting. Sorry, you're about to show me around the house, aren't you? I'm, I'm uh, sorry, this is just so great. I'm getting distracted so easily. It's like a, I, I get distracted so very fucking easily, I swear. Let's have a look at the compass. Oh, a shiny thing over there! And let's have a look at the metal farm. Oh, another shiny here! Quite all right. It's new. It's fun. It's very great and fun. Is that... Oh, we're running a snapshot, aren't we? That just realized yes. there's a button on the floor. Very nice. We are running uh, 14W10... Or no, 14W8A. We have not done the tents because they seem to be quite buggy. So we are waiting for them to bring out a new snapshot, bypass the tens. One that isn't filled with... Book fix after book fix after book list uh, book fisted. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yes, this I'll is. get there eventually. Um, house just got finished yesterday, so no decorations. But uh, this way, yeah. po this pool is this a jacuzzi of some sort, or is it just a pool? 
This is half Olympic size. Ooh, diving board. I am not rich enough for a full uh, Olympic uh, size pool. Oh, that's a shame. I do need a diving board, don't I? Yeah, I'm thinking where would be the best place? Probably because of the height of the roof there in relation to the other side. I'm thinking maybe pretty much where you were just then. Just sort of here ish. Here. Good idea. Then you'd have we to have enough... Sorry, go on. We're not in the nether yet, so we don't have quartz. Quartz would be a perfect diving board. We'd put a stair there or something. That's one thing I was going to ask you elsewhere on the internet, but I might as well ask you now. What's the whole nether event all about? Because I'm actually intrigued about that, and I want, might maybe turn, turn up to it. Basically, we want to go into the nether for the first time as a group. So, and, and we may... I'm trying to bump it up to this Saturday or Sunday. So we'll put up another portal... And we'll all go in as a group looking for a fortress and just grabbing some blaze rods and some tears. Just want to do it as a group event as all. Ah, that makes sense. That's cool. And once we do that, then it's free game. Anyone can go in whenever they want. Well, is there a policy on the Ender Dragon? Because there's only one dragon per server, if I remember rightly. Yes, yes. We are doing the dragon as a group as well. Good. We... Yep, yep. Uh... I don't know when. We don't want to rush it, so we're thinking three or four weeks after the nether is going to be the dragon slaughter. Three or four weeks to prepare. That's, yep. do that's doable. That's doable. Yep, yep. Wow, I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by the standard of building that's gone on here. I mean, I just, I'm wondering if I'm going to let the side down now. Jeez. What's that? I'm honestly wondering if I... If I've, I think I'm going to let the side down. I don't think my standard of building is up to this. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, honestly, honestly, I'm just amazed. This is great. I'm not just saying that because he's stood there holding a nice, lovely, lovely slice of bacon. This is... This is so nice. I like it. It's fun. I might have to build a skyscraper about there-ish, though. Right in the middle. Next to the... Come on. <laughs> build as big as you need. Um, like I said, we're going to use the whole biome. I, I'd say I wouldn't do a large floor plan around here so we can have a little bit of variety. But a large floor plan, maybe a little bit out there, yeah, no problem. Hmm. Well, I'll definitely need to build something in the spawn area. But, yeah. That, it... Good times. Good times. Oh. This just... is a meteor right, I believe. This is a natural hole. We have no idea. What's down there? I thought they removed a sort of train generation when they brought out the 1.8 beta update. Uh, I don't know. That's the one where they removed the farlands and fixed the terrain. Well, they say fixed the terrain generation. They broke it. They made it worse. And then in, they also laid down the path for biomes to be brought in as well. If I remember rightly, I could be wrong. I usually am. Huh. So we kind of want to utilize this beach. Uh, a fishing shack's going on that little island there. Oh, you've got so, something in your back garden. See, I'm being distracted again! We we don't have a backyard yet on this house, but we may be putting some kind of boardwalk along the beach. I don't know. But we want to utilize this whole beach. We want houses and stores or whatever the hell anybody wants all along this beach. Ooh, that's a good beach, actually. It is, and, and this is all unclaimed property. For now. <laughs> For now. No one's claimed any of this over here. Alright, so like I said, 400 minimum on building your main base. We are putting a cap of 5,000 blocks. Don't go any further than that. I'm assuming that's in case there's new updates in the future. Right, right. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything in the pipeline, but we're going to set a limit just in case they break something out out of nowhere. Never know with these guys. That dinner bone, bloody hell. Right, right. Ah, uh, let's see here. Well, once we get another portal up, we'll have a, a hub on the other end. Oh, there goes kitten. Yeah, she's trouble. Just letting you know right now. So we'll have a community hub at the other end. Have you played uh, with the horse update? Um, they're only a recent addition to my life, shall we say. 
Yeah, I'm fairly new to horses as well. Right, where did you run off to? Oh, you're right in front of me and being blind. I think that's about the gist of it. Um, you know, we don't have too many uh, rules or anything like that. We just want everybody to uh, build and have some fun. Ah, shiny. Very, I think very she's shiny. doing some breeding over here. Actually, we did discover you can kind of do a tug of war on horses. Oh, God, really? Yes, if you get on a horse, you can grab another horse with a lead, and then you just grab each other's horse and try to pull each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we, wow. we may set up a mini game with, with some tug of war going on. Blimey, that sounds, that sounds really epic. Oh, uh, one last place. That little hut that I didn't show you in the distance over there. One moment. You better answer that honestly. There we go. Guess you can't really argue that. Here we go. Riff Raff compa I'm assuming she's royalty in comparison. Yes, she came in on the boat. Boo. Robots don't need no boats. We're waterproof. There we go. That might have to be tested. We'll um, see about that. There are small leaks here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Class warfare already going on. Anyway. So that little hut in the distance there that's kind of like a community mining hut so if you go down in there there's some mines that you can go strip mining or branch mining i guess would be the more accurate term ah okay shiny shiny very nice oh sun is setting over here we have the auto armor 1000 the if what the auto armor 1000 if you die and you appear here and spawn normally you'll panic you're like i got nothing on me and i need to get my stuff and there's mobs all over the place right mm -hmm. it's it's horrible not anymore with the auto armor 1000 let's see here we go what how is and it you actually are all set and ready to go to grab your stuff how does and that... save the day how does that appear on you Without you going into your inventory, how the? Wow, what? If you have no armor on, the dispenser shoots uh, armor on you. It'll auto equip. Uh, is that is that normal? I mean, is that or is that part of the snapshot? Or, oh my, that's awesome! It's I don't remember when it's been Im implemented, but I don't think it's that new. Oh, I feel so noobish again. The green is showing. <laughs> that's a good feeling sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I'd so hate, I'd hate if to think you have uh, about Minecraft if I'm honest with you. <laughs> anyway, Over sorry. This way? Where do you go? I've just took my eyes off the screen for a moment, and here we go. And here we have the community enchanting table. Uh -huh. Community lapis. So if you're doing any enchanting, you're all set to go. Oh yes, the, the enchanting. We got to put lapis in the bottom now, haven't you? Yep, yep. One lapis for level one, two for two, three for three. Finally, giving lapis a use for something other than ornamental. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, there's nothing really up there. It's all just decorations. You can explore that whenever you want. That is it, though. Our server is new, and you just saw the whole thing. And we did it in a whole 20 minutes, which actually, to be fair, considering you said it's been up for, what, five days? Yes. That's a lot for five day. Be fair. Friday, Friday evening. It went up Friday evening, so three, four, five, six, I guess. Yeah, and five or six. And there's how many people living here? We have five um, YouTubers, and you would be number six, and we got a number seven coming as well. Yay! And there are three casual players on the server who videos. Kittenmans is one of them. Ah. Uh, you'll see them listed over in um in the subreddit. This is a hobo. I think he just called you a Yankee Doodle. 
Very kind, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I've got I've got given two feathers. Very random. You gotta put them in your hat. Call it macaroni. Ah. Oh god, he's coming back. Should I be scared? He's just got a sword out. Um. I'm not. I'm not scared at all. Hi. Oh shoot! Helps press the right. Buttons. Oh, now I've got some wool. Excellent. Steak. <laughs> Ooh, this yay. is you, 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 riff raff. Don't get treated this well quite regularly, so uh, you should be uh, honored here. I'll have to work on increasing my status, shall we say? My class. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, kind sir. Much appreciated. Because that's more than what I had. <laughs> I came here with nothing. Ah, oh, dear. Good times, man. Good times. There you go. Right, on that note, um, is it worth wrapping up now? It is worth wrapping up. All right. In that note, in that case, then, guys. So, ah, another GPS device, then. <laughs> that that may have been something that altered your DNA, but um, again, that's that's not something we can disclose to you. I don't have DNA. Last time I checked, oil, servos, etc., etc. You don't have Robo DNA. Error does not compute. Does that work? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, maybe maybe he gave you some DNA. It might be some kind of hybrid now. I I'd watch about that. Oh god, he's turning me into Robocop. Not good. Not good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Mod. This has been the Strange Land Server. If you enjoyed this, leave a thumbs up. Share this with your friends if you think they might enjoy it as well. Dream big, and we shall see you next time on Strange Lands. Bye bye.